Hi, my name is Brandon Grazley. I teach high school math, and today we're going to look at how to recognize a linear expression or a linear equation. Um, linear equations or expressions always have uh, a variable or maybe more than one variable, but they all have degree 1, which means they have the variable and the exponent on that variable is a 1, and we usually don't even write the exponent down. So, for example, just x or x to the power 1, that is a linear expression. Uh, so is uh, x plus 5. And sometimes we'll write it like this, y equals x plus 5, because we're going to be graphing that on an xy axis. Here are some other ones, putting a coefficient in front of the x, 3x or 3 times x minus 7. How about something with a fraction, say negative 1 half times x plus 2. Or we could change the order of those things around, 3 minus x is the same as negative x plus 3. Those are all linear. Maybe we'll try something with uh, the y in it again. This one's called standard form. 3x minus 7y plus 2. That's linear. Equals 0 turns that into an equation, a linear equation. We could rearrange the uh, pieces of this formula to get y equals, let's see, 3 sevenths x or 3 sevenths times x plus 2 sevenths. Those are all linear and this last one here is in the uh, slope y-intercept form that you might be used to. Uh, how about some things that are not linear? Well anytime we have a different exponent like let's write it as an equation y equals x squared that exponent 2 makes this not linear this is quadratic or we have things like cubics x cubed and maybe some other things in here as well, other terms. But this is the highest power term, has the, the largest exponent, and so this is of degree 3 is what we call that, and this is a cubic function. How about things like y equals 1 over x? See that x is on the bottom. Another way to write this, if you know your exponent laws, is y equals x to the power negative 1. So that's not an exponent like this one here that's just 1. That's a negative one, so that's not linear. Uh, none of these, if you were to graph these, these are all kind of curvy things. These are not straight lines, any of them. Uh, how about this one? y equals square root of x. That's not a straight line either. So anything that doesn't satisfy this form up here with a variable or maybe two variables here and here that have uh, degree 1 or an exponent of 1 on them, these are the things that are linear. Anything else? is not linear. And I guess I can show you one more here. Uh, two more, I guess. x equals 7. That's a straight line. If I were to graph that you know, on your, on your xy axes, you'd find the place where x equals 7 here, and you'd have a vertical line straight up and down at that point. This is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. Similarly, if I had something like y equals negative 3, I'd end up with a horizontal line at that point. Those are linear. This one's a function, this one's not a function, but uh, both of these are linear. They both have a single variable of degree 1. I hope that clears up uh, linear expressions or equations for you. Thanks, and I'll see you again.